guys and welcome back to the Throttle YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Evan and in today's episode, we're gonna be installing a beautiful titanium exhaust from Valve Master onto Throttle's R35 here. So I'm very excited. This is my first time looking at this exhaust. Love the attention to detail. We've got matte carbon fiber on the tips here. Beautiful welding, beautiful blue coloring throughout. And then we also have the little box here. Because this car didn't come factory with a valved exhaust system, we're gonna have the option to make it quieter or louder by the use of this box. And we'll show you how to install that in just a little bit. So if any of you watching this are interested in the Valve Master exhaust, check out the link in the video description. We'll have a link there. You guys can check it out for yourselves. And if you're interested, pick one up for your GTR. Now also remember that every dollar you spend on our website actually gives you an automatic entry to win this GTR. So that's very exciting. The sweepstakes is live on the site. We've got a bunch of cool gear, merch, all that stuff, as well as over 400,000 parts if you guys are looking for new performance parts or maintenance items for your car as well. Without further ado, we've got the GTR on the lift. We're going to raise it up, take off all the under panels, and start knocking this out. Alright, this is it. Yeah? Rusty Crusterson. Look at that compared to this. Woo! Damn. You ever installed one of these? Me? Personally? 200 times. I don't even need Evan. What did he say? Hey. Oh. All right, the factory exhaust is completely removed now. Now it's time to kind of match everything up. Make sure we have everything, gaskets, bolts, hardware, everything. Um, and start putting it back in. So pretty straightforward so far. Just a lot of clips and bolts and things like that. So uh, let's do it. Let's go for it. This is gonna be the first part here. You put the left one on the re left side and the right one on the right side, right? The gaskets. <laughs> Got him. Next up, we gotta put the hangers from the factory exhaust onto the new Valve Master exhaust. Time for the tips, Nate. Are these all the same? Let's see. No, we got one long boy. These two look to be the same. No. I oh. for this short one right here, but. Well, it's because we need the long one of those and the long one of those, so there's one of this side here. Beep boop, beep boop, beep. Hey, you got their logo right here yeah, in the back. Yeah, got the on, so what does on mean? Wait a minute. Is on means battery? like full, full, full exhaust. Full boost. I wonder if we need to, we might have to put batteries in here. Look at how small those screws are. Yeah. Tiny. We're almost there. Now we just gotta get the tips on and do all of the vacuum routing for this little box here. So this looks pretty simple. Essentially you have a plug-in for power right here. This one has a cigarette lighter thing built into it. I'm probably just gonna wire this to an ignition on power source so I don't have to have this plugged into my cigarette lighter all the time. But other than that, looks to be a little button here. There's a little antenna. And then this is where the vacuum source is. So that when we click the clicker, it's gonna send a signal to this, which will essentially open and close the valves. So pretty simple. Just gotta figure out where to put that. Last thing on the install is to hook up the tips, get these aligned so it's similar to how we've done other exhausts. Just put the clamp on, put the tip on, and tighten it down. But getting the alignment is tricky. I might have to enlist the help of Mickey. He's pretty good at this. get an idea, this is just a rough mock-up of how it looks. It looks like they stick out a little bit, but these cars are known to kind of blow fireballs and stuff, so maybe that's why they designed it that way. But you can't really push it in any further, so that's pretty much, that's all we got. We do have adjustment left to right on, on either one as well, so we'll try to center everything. Woo! 
Let's go. Okay, this is the real last but not least. All right, what makes this exhaust really cool is the valve system, as I mentioned before. So you have this little control box. We gotta hook it up to power and vacuum. So there's two valves here. We're gonna hook these up first. So I'm gonna need, I got this T, and we're gonna need some zip ties. You don't think he's gonna get a not As get long it. as you've known this man and all the BMW, the all the BMW love he's got. Wait, the new one? The new, oh, the new boy? Sean, you take it half day every day when you take it for 30 minutes. <laughs> Dude, he has no comment. It takes 30 minutes for me to push it out. We got this just mocked up right now. So, Essentially, as I was explaining earlier, this is like a little vacuum pump to apply vacuum to those valves so that we can open. It's automatic though, unlike the hand pump that you have at home. <laughs> so compared to the Army Trick setup, we actually had to run a vacuum line all the way to the front to the brake booster. This one, you can handle everything here in the trunk. So pretty cool, pretty nifty little clicker here. Little device. We're gonna turn, I don't know if on means open or on means off, but. We're gonna just set it to on and do a little startup. We ready. It's all back together now. Will help me out with all the wiring on the inside and Mickey helped me mount the little control box. We tested everything off camera, but we haven't started it up yet. So I just opened up the valve. As soon as I finish these last four clips, we're gonna turn it on for the first time. Oh, Jumbo, little special appearance. Whoa, 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 you can't do that on camera. You can't show it. Ah! Can't show that actually kinda hurts. Vic, you want to do the honors? First startup. Who, me? Yeah, you. How do you know how to start this car? It's super far. or anything like that. So we're gonna lift the car back up, put all the under panels back on. So I'm very excited. This thing works cool. It's so much quieter with the valves closed too. Super cool. That's it. Project's done. We're gonna put this thing on the ground and the exhaust system went very smoothly today. So huge shout out to Valve Master for sending this out to us. It looks fantastic. Just the little bit of sound that we got sounds great. It's not overly loud, it's not obnoxiously loud, but it sounds really good. And if you've ever owned a GTR stock, you can barely hear, you can barely hear the engine. You guys heard that earlier in the video. It's like completely silent. Got titanium there, right through the the car.
we're gonna be installing some carbon fiber goodies from Carbontastic. Without further ado, let's get started. So here we go, the big reveal. Hard to do one-handed. There we go. For the GTR, we went with a matte two by two carbon fiber with a red 12 o'clock stripe. It's got matte carbon fiber in the center and a smooth leather on the sides with the red stitching. So as you can see here, it is a very similar design. It reuses the same center section, but this one is now in carbon fiber. Super easy to install and I think makes a huge difference. I am very excited. The first thing we're going to do is going to be disconnecting the uh, negative terminal on the battery and then we can pop off this airbag, which should give us access to a a nut inside we'll pop this thing off and put the new one on if I haven't said this already carbon tastic is an awesome company uh, we've worked with them now many many times and the quality of their products is really good so if you are interested in a new steering wheel consider carbon tastic and check out the top link in the video description that's it and let's get to the install and just like that battery is disconnected so now it is time to remove the airbag usually it's pretty simple. There's a little plug right here. Pop that off, you get a flashlight. There's usually a little spring clip. You know, on this one, it looks like there's actually a Torx bit in there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. That should give us access to be able to pop the airbag out. Now we just gotta remove the two clips on the top. So I'm gonna go get a little mini flathead screwdriver. We'll pop those off of the airbag, put that in the safe place. As you can see, there's one nut in the center here. We're gonna go ahead and grab an impact to pop that off and just a couple plugs. And then this whole thing should just slide out. So one other really important thing to note is whenever you do a steering wheel and this, each car is kind of different. Let me grab a light. Whenever you do a steering wheel, you wanna make sure that the steering wheel is aligned exactly on the splines as it was before, so your steering wheel is not off when you're driving down the road. So uh, BMW is a little bit different, but it looks like Nissan has a dash um, on the steering wheel and then a dash on the spline itself, and you can see how those are perfectly lined up. So we're gonna do the same thing with the new steering wheel, and if everything is removed, this should just disconnect. Go. Time to put the nut back on. Time to plug in the airbag. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we just got our two Torx bits that go on the side. And I'm gonna be really careful not to drop that into that or this whole thing's gonna have to come out. Just like that, the Carbontastic steering wheel is installed and it looks fantastic. Last thing to do is to go ahead and connect our battery terminals here real quick. And there we go. Battery is connected. This project is officially done. And man, does that look awesome. I love the matte carbon fiber. That's one of my favorite things and it just, just feels good, just feels good in your hands and it just looks great. So before we call this project done, let's go ahead and start it. Don't mind that E85 start and we're out of gas. I need to make sure that everything still works here. So let's go ahead and press some of the buttons. As you can see, still works. Cruise control, yep. Everything is working good. I think we're fine. Yep, everything still works, feels great. Let's test the last thing. Now the project is officially done. Check out that wheel, bud. Oh, you got the new wheel in? Yeah. Oh, dang, that's hot, dude. Dude, the red is perfect. Maybe a little hint of what's to come with this car. This is sick. So nice, right? The matte carbon. Wait, when did you put this in? I just put it in. Right now? Yeah, I just finished dang. it. See? I still do things, Quinn. It looks factory, dude. This I know. That's why I like it. It just kind of matches everything on the car. Yeah. The black, the carbon, the red. Just looks good. Simple. Yeah, it feels really nice. I actually prefer the leather to the Alcantara, yeah, me to too. be honest. Because the suede of the Alcantara, like, if you use it a lot, it'll get worn out. Yeah, quick. it also just kind of, I don't know, doesn't feel that good in my hands. Mm -hmm. It's not as good as a nice leather wheel. This is freaking beautiful, yeah. dude. So much nicer than factory. Yeah. So excited. Awesome. 
Hey guys, so uh, this pretty much wraps up today's YouTube video, but before I go, I wanted to kind of just have a conversation with you guys. You know, a lot of you guys have been watching the channel for a very long time, and a lot of you guys, I guess, are new as well, which is really cool, and I just wanted to hop on here real quick and just say thank you guys so much for all the support. So not only on the YouTube side, but on the performance part side of the business, which has been growing so rapidly. We are one of the nation's fastest growing performance parts retailers and uh, it wouldn't be possible without you guys who are watching and supporting us every day and you know getting the entries in to win all the cars that we've been giving away. So one really cool thing I wanted to share in the office here this just came in and this just kind of symbolizes everything that I just talked about. The so throttle's just been named number 315 on the Inc. 5000 list for the fastest growing companies in America, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys once again for all the support and for making this possible. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video. The Carbontastic wheel looks amazing. The Valve Master titanium exhaust also looks and sounds incredible and a lot more content coming for the GTR. So thank you guys once again. We'll see you in the next one. Later.